The next question we are going to learn is Ki e se? Ki e se? It means who is it? The word ki means who. So I hope you remember you're remembering the question words that we have learned. So this is one more question word. It means who. Ki. Ki is se. Who is it? So let us read this conversation. So la guide says regarde la statue. Regarde la statue. Regarde means to see or to look. Regarde. Look at the statue. Hakima says, ¿Qué es ese? Who is this? So, like it replies, Se, Sep, Jacques Cartier. Se, Jacques Cartier. So, the question is, Who is this? Who is this? ¿Qué es ese? And your answer is, Se, and the name of the person. So, Hakima asks, Jacques Cartier? La guide says, oui, yes, un navigateur, le premier European Québécois. So, now in this conversation, we have seen the question, qui est ce? Who is this? And the answer will be, se, if it is a person, the name of the person. So, your answer depends upon what they are asking. So, Who is it? You can either say it is the name of the person like how we saw Jacques Cartier or you can say set un navigateur. So notice the use of the article here. Similar to the previous question here also we use both definite and indefinite articles. We will see how we use the various articles to answer this question. Here are the different ways in which we can answer this question. Ki es se? So if it is referring to a person, you can say Set Diana. It is, this is Diana. Set yun tourist. She is a Tourist, set yun tourist, set yun anglais. It is a anglais is another nationality. It means English from England. Set yun tourist anglais. You can join these two sentences. You can say set yun tourist anglais. So this is how we answer this question using the indefinite article. So since our noun here is feminine, we use yun. So if it is masculine, we would use un. And if it is plural, we would use de, d-e-s. Next, for a precise answer, set la guide de tourist. He is the guide of the tourist. He is the tourist guide. So since we are referring to someone in particular, we say le which is a definite article and le because a noun is masculine set la guide de tourist and the last one is to characterize someone to introduce someone pour caractériser voici azra here is azra l a étudiant so we know to form this sentence this a subject, the être verb, and a noun. L A étudiant. Qui est ce? Voici Azra. L A étudiant. So these are three different situations where we have to answer this question. Can either be in general, that is, who is this? C'est Diana. C'est un touriste. C'est un anglais. Set yun tourist only. So here we use the indefinite article yun. To be more precise, for our answer we use the definite article. 
set le guide de tourist. So here we use the definite article. And finally, to introduce a person, we say Wasi Azra L A Etudion. So we are answering this question ki se in three different forms. So I hope you have understood how to ask the basic questions in French and also how to answer those questions in different ways using the different articles and the correct use of the prepositions. So I suggest that you keep practicing, keep asking yourselves questions and try to answer those questions in different forms. That is in a singular form, in the plural form, masculine, feminine, using the different subjects, we can try to answer these questions.